All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are just outside the infested bunker, which is no longer infested. Fantastic work there, chaps. Well done. Um, and now, having cleared that out, we need to head back to Frankie at some point and get the key to this underground place that he mentioned. Oh, hang on a second. Let's go check out this up here. Bunch of graves that I don't think... I can dig up because I don't have my shuffle, unfortunately. I bet they have something cool in them, um, and yet... We'll probably never find out because I don't see myself coming back here anytime soon. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It is 15.47 p.m. We need to go back up there to Frankie at some point, but what else do we need to do? New Vegas bounties. We need to kill Billy Bogan, who is... Uh, all the way up yonder, um, unfortunately. We also need to speak with Anna about the supply shipment, and she is right up there as well. Investigate the silver rush in the free side for the evidence on the on the, on the Van Graff's guilt. Oh, right, yes. We should probably do that at some point before um, Cass goes totally postal. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we now? I mean, she'd love it, but... Yeah, I just... Uh, it's an incident, really, that I could I could personally avoid... I mean, you know, if we can somehow not end up shooting up the Crimson Caravan and the Silver Rush. I would prefer if we could, you know... If we could not do that, because I have enough enemies as it is. Uh, oh yeah, and at some point we need to go to Nailis Air Force Base. Um, but I really don't care about that, and then we still need to find a way to get into Aguilar's, Aguilar's um, last option. Which is a sort of bunker up in the north somewhere. Probably has something good in it. Um, find entertainers for the tops. Check on Niner. <laughs> Maybe one of these days. Um, investigate the midnight showing at the Mojave Drive in. Uh, take Rex to Dr. Henry. Yes. Maybe we should do that while we're up there taking care of Billy Bogan and his gang and also speaking with Anna about the supply shipment. Maybe we should go up into the mountains and, uh, and head to Jacobstown. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should. For now, though, I think, let's get back to the Mojave Outpost. And uh, I think we'll drive on back up to Good Springs for the evening. Say hello to Frankie, grab the key, figure out where we want to go from there. And uh, presumably, you know, depending on... If, if it's somewhere super close by that I can go check out, maybe we'll go there. But um, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit bored of, of, of crawling around in, um, in bunkers and... Uh, caves and things like that honestly i just I just i've had enough of that for a while so uh i think what we'll do is we'll get the key off frankie and then um we'll we'll bugger off um up north of vegas and uh see what we can do about billy bogan and our other items on our to-do list should be fun what makes me sad of course is the fact that the world map basically stops at Nellis Air Force Base up, up north here. For those of you who don't know, in the real world, um, this up here, this sort of big blank bit of space up here, which goes all the way up this way, that's known as the Sally Corridor. Um, and up there, and up north of all this, is where the US military and, and stuff like that, they do all their crazy training exercises and shit like that in the real world, and presumably they did it in the Fallout universe too. Um, and there's a bunch more air bases and military installations and stuff up there, which I bet were they in the game would have all sorts of fun stuff in them, but unfortunately we can't go up there. Which makes me sad. But yeah, it's, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a shame, honestly. I mean, we've got Nellis, I guess, but... And the, the game just totally froze up there as I tried to get the, uh, the Pip-Boy out, but yeah. We've got Nellis, but I mean, aside from that, all the cool shit is, uh, not actually within the bounds of the map, which kind of sucks, so... But heck, if you ever wanted a modding project, I suppose that would be a good one. Anywho... I did forget I run faster when I've got the gun away, haven't I? Don't know. Um, Alright, yeah, so, yeah, well, let's get back to- Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Great, but could you get away from my truck, please? Alright, so let's get back to Good Springs. We'll go say hello to Frankie, and I think I'll offload a bunch of the stuff and probably... 
sell a few things while I'm at it too, honestly. We've got a lot of... We've got too many guns. I didn't know there was such a thing as too many guns until fairly recently, but there actually is, as it turns out. Far, far, far too many guns. I am uh, a little bit paranoid about this microphone at the moment. The way it's positioned. Sorry, I was just moving it around there, and you can probably hear that too. It's quite sensitive to that, but... Um, this microphone, if I, if I move it even like a couple of centimeters too close to my mouth, um, it gets the audio and everything just completely out of balance um, and all sorts of wrong and, and stuff like that. So I'm, 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 as much as I love this thing, and it's freaking great because it's just, it's made such a difference to, um, actually let's put some more flame of fuel in here, I think. Um, it's made a huge difference to the sort of produ overall production value of the videos. Um, I'm a little bit paranoid about getting it slightly wrong one of these days and then just over-modulating like crap throughout an entire video and making it sound really horrible. But never mind. It should be fine. Let's see. Flame of fuel. There you are. More fuel for the fuel gods. Alright. I am really, really pleased with this, actually. It was it was a fair old bit of money, but what an investment it's made. I mean, I don't know, I'm somewhat tooting my own horn here. I am aware of this, but holy crap, it's made a big difference. It just sounds so much better on the videos now. I mean, there's one or two people who are just like, no, I liked your old mic better, but I, I, I'm sorry. I just, I prefer this infinitely more than what we had previously set up. All I had to do was talk a bit louder like this on the old mic, and it would just be completely blown out and over-modulated and sounded horrible. Um, but now it doesn't doesn't really make a difference, because I've got all the compression and lovely stuff like that, so... It's awesome. It's really good. Um, and I think most of you seem to agree that it's made quite a huge difference, honestly. It's just, I, I don't know, it's, it's weird the difference it has made in my mind as well, because I, I suddenly feel... I don't know. I, I suddenly feel a lot more motivated to actually make some new, new videos now, just for the sake of making videos. Like it was in the old days. I, all it took was a little bit of an equipment upgrade, and now I suddenly... I feel like I'm taking a hell of a lot more pride in my work all of a sudden. I don't know, it's weird. But, uh, yeah. Hence, you're, you're watching this right now, quite soon after I released the previous video. Um... I wasn't actually gonna do any video stuff today. I got a stream to do later this evening, and I was just gonna do that today, but then... I, um, I got up this morning, and I saw all your nice comments on the previous videos, and I was like, well, gosh darn it, I'll just go and make a few more then, why not? Okay. We'll just gloss over whatever that was. <laughs> Frankie, hello. All right. I took care of your monsters. Wow, nice work. I'm impressed. Here's the key and a little extra to say thank you. Good luck down there. You'll need it. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, actually you will, because I'm about to sell you a bunch of stuff. Hold on. <laughs> uh, what have you got in stock? Weapons. So... Must remember to patch up the anti-material rifle. Uh, we have got a hunting shotgun for some reason. Oh, I was going to repair my shotgun with it, wasn't I? Which doesn't need repairing, so enjoy the hunting shotgun. You can enjoy those as well. And uh, I will keep the Ranger Sequoia. In fact, I will repair it if I can. And that's that for... The... As far as that goes... With just just a second, Frankie, I wanna. What are you guys pawing around with you here? Is it a dress? No, sorry, I've already got you a dress. For heaven's sake, you're never using that. I'm selling it. Uh. Besides, you've got that. Um. What about you? Let's deal. And you got that, and you've got that. And you've got that. 
You never use anything except the battle rifle anyway, so and what about you? Stingy with the stem packs. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I'll take those back. Thank you very much. 32 Casador poison glands. How and when did you acquire 32 Casador poison glands exactly, Russell? Is it okay if I take them and sell them? Okay. I was thought about checking Rex then, but that would be silly. Okay, so... <laughs> that... And... Oh, I've got a bunch of... This is way more than he actually has in caps right now. However, I'm going to see what I can actually buy off him in return. Do a bit of the old bartering. Let's see. Uh, mm, mm, mm. And... Where are the Casador poison glands of death? Not here, apparently? Or what? Oh, there we are. Enjoy. Alright, so that gives us lots of stuff to play with, so... As many 50 caliber rounds as you can AE. What would that be? 50 AE. How'd you know? AE round, hollow point, MG, 50 MG, um, piercing, incendiary. Oh, hello. Uh, these, rare as rock and horse shit, I will have them. And what else? You shall never run out of powder and primer again after today, I swear. I'll take your pre-war money as well, because I can put that to other uses. Cough, cough. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You got another detonator. Uh, weapon mods. Okay, let's see. Focus optics. I'm pretty sure I've got those installed already. So, no worries with that. Barbed wire bundle. Is that for a baseball bat? <laughs> Lucille? Um, let's see. Extra boxing tape, Fat Man Little Boy Kit, Gatling Laser CF Frame, Laser Recycler. Laser Sight. Multiplast Magnetic Stabilizer, Plasma Pistol added Injector Cylinders. <laughs> Recharge a Supercharger Coil. Yeah. Surface Rifle Forge Receiver. bit underwhelming, really. I guess I could use some more microfusion cells. Rockets. High explosive rockets. Incendiary rockets. Oh. Stay at AUG A1 scope. A TT Tokarev nickel plate finish. Interesting. Stay at AUG would be a sweet little bit of kit to have lying about the place, wouldn't it? I don't think I've run into one of those yet. I was hoping there'd be more here for me to grab, honestly. I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, 12 gauge round? Not really. Uh, not, I've got plenty of those. My 5, 6 rounds? I don't need armor piercing. Well, I suppose I could use a few armor, armor piercing, perhaps, but. Uh, 5mm, 9mm, 
not so much. I've already got shed loads of stim packs. Cranky, I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed. I, I really hoped you'd have more for me here. I'm just going to have to take some of my stuff back. <sighs> oh, that's a shame. We've got missiles and we've got rockets. I'm not entirely sure which <laughs> is used for which. Yeah, you're going to have to take some of my stuff back, man. What can I say? What can we get back? Uh. Oh wow, really? Weapons. Ugh, man. This is just not going to work out, is it? It's not going to work out. Alright, you know what? Fine. Just take the poison glands from me. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? You can have this back. Can I move again? Oh, I'm still over encumbered. Drat. Uh, Cass. Let's deal. Weapons. Uh, we've also got a few bits of gear like this we need to put away somewhere. Um, huh. What about a 5mm submachine gun? You can have that. And uh, what else is heavy? That's really heavy. So are these. You know, just have one of those back, for heaven's sake. Stupid things. I should just stop picking them up, honestly. Maybe we should take it all with us to the gun runners on the way up there. Yeah, I guess that's what we should do. Just load up with guns that we don't need and take them to the gun runners. Guess that's that's what we need to do. So, out of curiosity, it's up here, right? Actually, not far from the Good Spring Cemetery, just up that road there. I happen to know there's a bunch of Cazadors up that road, though. So, I don't really fancy checking it out just now, but you know, it's there. Next time we happen to find ourselves in Good Springs and we want to go treasure hunting, I suppose that would be the place to do it. For now, though. Let's just go get our uh, our stuff squared away, and then in the morning we will head up north and deal with Billy Bogan. Sounds like it could be fun. Sounds like it could also be very straightforward, which I like. I like straightforward. I like it when we just walk up to a guy in the desert, shoot him in the face, and uh, take his finger. That's 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 the way it should be always. He does have a gang, but I mean, I have a gang as well, so good luck to him is all I have to say. This lovely garden. It's so wonderful. Can I make anything? Oh, cactus water. Yeah. All right, then. Let's get this stuff sorted out. That's apparently still doing things. That's, uh... What was his name? I forget. Bullpes Inculta, I think, or something? That was his hat, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a dickhead, honestly. Some people deserve to die. Ah, <sighs> he was definitely one of them. Sierra Madre Casino Chips. Yeah, I don't, don't think we need any of those. Let's break down some useless ammo. Break down five mil minute rounds. Yep, yeah, five mil rounds and nine mil rounds. Very good. All right, and we'll make some more 
308. It's running a bit low on those, so. There we go. Lovely. All right. Uh, I, I'm got, I've got some inventory sorting to do, folks, so uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Sort of. Yeah, you know, figuratively speaking. Howdy, chaps, and good morning. I've done a lot of sorting and things of that nature. I've now got guns, the bare minimum of ammo. Bleh, the bare minimum of ammo. That's actually quite difficult to say very fast, the bare minimum of ammo. <laughs> bare minimum of ammo. Bare, the bare minimum of ammo. Yes, anyway, you get the idea. Um, so I've got that. And I've also brought with me all of the guns we're going to sell. I repaired the Ranger's Acquire a bit. I repaired the anti-material rifle, which I then promptly put away because it weighs an absolute ton and I don't have to kill any death claws today. Um, and then we just grabbed all the rest of the valuable guns that we don't need and we're going to sell them. And uh, Cass is carrying some of them. I'm carrying most of them. Veronica! Um, What's up? I think you should go take some time out and do Brotherhood of Steel things for a bit. Um, Why does everyone always say that? Uh, yeah, I'll just we'll meet up at the Lucky Thirty Eight. Nice. Can I order room service? I mean, I wouldn't expect to get any, but yeah, sure. Okay, so she's teleported into the ether. That's fine. I thought I'd thin out on numbers a bit. I did consider almost just replacing it with Bert, but I don't know. Maybe we should bring Bert. Yeah, you know yeah, sod it, we will. Uh, is there anyone else we can ditch in the meantime? I could ditch Cass, but I don't want to. Cass is fun. I like having her around. And uh, Russell... I suppose we don't really need Russell. From an out completely outside of character perspective, the reason I bring Russell along quite a lot during the New Vegas bounty stuff is because he supposedly has a lot of unique things to say on some bounties, but I'm not sure how much that really applies to... New Vegas bounty bounties one. I think it's more of a two and possibly three thing. Um, and all he just all he really does is run around with his knife getting in the way. So you know what? For a while, since we're not actually going to go after what's his face yet, it's coming. I swear to you, it's coming. But we're not actually going to go after um, Carruthers. We're not going to go to Carruthers Canyon to find um, Glanton. Just yet. I suppose you can go chill at the, uh, the 188 or whatever it is you do. What's up? Uh. You sure about this? It's your call. I'll be up at the 188 if you need me. Okie doke. Alright. Okay, that thins things down a little bit. So it's just. Rex, obviously, because we're going to go and get your brain fixed, buddy. We are. We're going to go get your brain fixed, so you need to come. Uh, Cass, you're coming just because you're Cass, and um, I think we might as well bring Bird as well. Why the hell not? You must be getting really bored sitting around here all day, I suppose, so. Screw it. I mean, he barely fits the bloody truck, which is a problem, but... Ah, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice trope, though. Can you imagine? Mojave Truck Simulator. Motherfucker? Motherfucker. Yeah. Mojave Truck Simulator. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, right, anyway. Did I leave anything in any of these containers? There's the trunk up here. Ah, uh, we'll sell you. Dragoon Sword. Frag mines, Cunters, Cowboy Hat, Ranger Brown Hat, Replica Repeater. I'll sell you and all. And then a few just random bits and bobs in case of emergency. Very good. Uh, anything in the ammo boxes? Uh, hello. Well, hello there, 50 caliber rounds just lying around there. And the electron charge packs. Oh my goodness me! What a thing to forget you left lying around, huh? Those are going back in the house as soon as I get the chance to... Well, as soon as I remember to do it. Anything else in these? Cabinet, drawers, the fridge. No, we're pretty much keeping the cupboard bare for now, really. I'd like to keep all the stuff stored in one place, and that one place right now is the house in Good Springs, so. Okay, uh, let's go to the gun runners.
Alright, I don't know where you've all hidden, but you've done a very, very impressive job of it. Good, well, good springs. Use right lane. Like I give a shit. Like it. All right. Got some more weird lighting issues. Very good. Love some lighting issues. All right then. So let's go talk to the nice robot. Hello, potential customer. Hello, potential buyer. I guess. Let's see what you got. All right. Give me that and. I won't take your spare change, that'd just be mean. It's like your lunch money, really. Chainsaw, which uh, Paul and Dean returned in, in perfect condition, so it's now worth a fortune. Motherfuck. <laughs> so, oh, we got the spare power armor. Uh, let's see what else. The 50 caliber pistol. Sorry, 12.7 millimeter pistol. I'm sure there's a difference. Not that I particularly care. Uh, the flamer. Another laser RCW. Radiation suit, forgot about that. Another suit of power armor. Where the hell did we pick that up from? And of course we can't take his teddy bear. That would just be mean. The Ferguson rifle. That's pretty good from what I remember, but we've got a better rifle. That fires that type of ammunition, so... Actually, no, we don't, but we have a pistol that fires that type of ammunition, so I sod that. Welcome, sir or madam. Okay, so, right. Don't mind me cracking my knuckles, but... Let's see, then. Weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. You can have that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, not that, but you can have those as well, and those as well, and that, and that. Uh, I mean, the PPSH-41 is, is fun. It's a kind of fun little unique machine gun, but ultimately a little bit useless, so it's got to go. Um, and that, and that, and that, and that. Which gives us their, all of their 8,000 caps, plus our pick of all the good shit, essentially. So let's have those. And uh, those. And, and as many 50 caliber rounds as we can carry, quite frankly. I still don't know what the difference between the AE rounds and the whatever. I'm possibly making a mistake by buying both of them, but uh, never mind. Uh, do, 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 beanbag, 4 0, buckshot. I don't know if that's worth getting or not. Eh. Flesh head rounds. You could do with replenishing a bit of those. 12.7 millimeter submachine gun. That's a hell of a submachine gun. Holy crap. Uh, that's some big bullets. Let's see, anyway. Doodly do. 9A91. Nah. AEK972. Yeah, AK-47. I'm sure I have one of those lying around somewhere. AK-47, 100 round magazine. Oh, hello. That fires 5.56, does 21 damage versus 16. <clears throat> also AK-74, which doesn't do as much damage. <clears throat> that plus 100 round magazine, what do you think? Also an AN-94, still not as good though. The, the one advantage this thing has, I suppose, is it's got a little scope on it, which is actually quite useful, to be fair, actually. Honestly, it is genuinely pretty useful. It's good for sniping critters at long range. But an AK-47 is just goddamn cool. It's a little heavier, though. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I think I had one of these and I sold it, so. Oh, I want it. AK74U? No. 
What else is here? What else is here? We'll just make a mental note of that and come back to it. Automatic rifle. Mm, nah. Assault rifle. Mm, nah. Assault carbine. Mm, nah. Battle rifle. Already got one. A Beretta. Bozar. Mm, nah. I mean, well. No, I don't think so. It's ridiculously expensive as well. Brush gun. Mm, no, thanks. Pretty good, actually, but no. A Bushmaster. Uh, Colt M1911. Points for style. Not bad damage, but no. Ammo is just too rare. Colt Pocket 1849. <laughs> Combat armor. Cowboy repeater. Double barreled shotgun. Esther. <laughs> A European battle rifle. No thanks. The damage is just too crap. Especially for that, that bullet type. FN, FNC. Eh. GSH-18. No. Gehenna. Oh my goodness. H&K long barrel. H&K G36K. G3SG. Ancient K USP Hunting Revolver, Hunting Revolver GRA. I've got my Ranger Sequoia though, so. Oh, it does a lot of damage to that thing. Have you got any more of those bullets actually? 4570 government. Yeah, you have. Should grab all of those that I can. Those are also rare ammunition. Uh, let's see, what else then? Doodly do implants, infiltrator, lever action rifle, lever action shotgun, light machine gun, NBA gyro jet. Oh yeah, that's the funny, weird. Yeah, we already did, we already talked about that. Um, mods. Okay, so anything good? Ooh, yes, please. Custom action. Mate, nah, I'm not really using the anti material rifle right now, and that's all the money, so maybe not for now. Dress cane concealed blade. <laughs> uh, Electro glove surge protector. Batman little boy kit. Flamer expanded tanks. Hunting rifle custom action. Incinerator blade. Extra tanks. Laser recycler laser sight. Light MG expanded drums. Last one, carbine extended mags, missile launcher guidance system. Do, 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 do. What else is there? Come on, there's going to be something. Remington 870 synthetic parts. Wait a second. Increases condition. All right, I'm going to tool up my shotgun. Thermic lance. Oh my. Meteba Compensator. Meteba Model 6 Unica. Good gun. Not as good as what I've got, but good. The Medicine Stick. Also good, but not... I need that ammo for my beautiful Ranger Sequoia, so... Sorry. Some mini nukes, a mini gun. Uh, missile High Explosive. Missile High Velocity. Missile Hive. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds fun. A uh, bunch of spare parts. A PB69... Six part P9 even. Don't even don't even know. PSO one scope, Pancor Jackhammer. That's a big shotgun. Goodness gracious. Uh I think my Remington 870 has more class though, if you ask me. Alright, what else we got? Police pistol, power fist, recon armor. Right, shotgun. Mm, kinda cool, I guess, but I still like mine better. Do not underestimate the Remington. Sleepy Time. Smith & Wesson Model 10. 
Eh, no. Not bad damage wise for 38 special, mind you, but still. Sniper rifle. Stayer AUGA1. Hello there. I wish I'd picked up the scope for you now. Damage 18 with fairly low condition versus 16 with. Uh, yep. I'll have that. Thanks very much. Taurus Raging Bull. Not bad, but no thanks. Two step goodbye. Mmm, good, but. Also crazy expensive. Apparently I still haven't bought enough stuff from you. What on earth is going on? Am I going to have to start buying presents for my companions here? What was that other thing I wanted? Oh, the AK-47, but then again I've got the stayer now, which is just, just yeah. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and get the scope for that. But yeah, for now I'm going to hold on to that. Is it even... It's only slightly heavier than the H&K as well, so... I do like the G36. I have an airsoft one in real life, so... It's a it's a nice gun. But, um... I, I can't argue with the stats on that thing, and also just... I don't know. I, I like bullpup rifles like that. They just look badass. Um... I always thought the Stayer AUG was awesome, because it kind of looked like a gun out of Starship Troopers. You know, it's kind of fun. But anyway, uh, let's see... I guess we could just buy a shitload more ammo. Brand new anti-material rifle. <laughs> GRA wanted that. Uh, auto gauss accelerators. I do have an auto gauss, but I can never find any ammo for it. Actually, actually... Do you guys have any ammo for an auto gauss? Maybe? Just, 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 potentially? No, no, okay, never mind. We need 2mm EC for that, don't we? Maybe the Silver Rush has got some. I don't want to bring Cass there, though. That would be stupid. Uh, where's that anti-material rifle mod? There we go, the custom action. I'll take that as well. There we go, finally. Thank you for the caps and the stuff. Come back and see us again soon. Right. We are 8,000 caps richer, plus we got a whole bunch of new toys to play with. Very nice. Uh, let's mod you. Can I just... Get a wonderful look at you now. Ooh, ooh, you're even shinier. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at it. Look at it, it's so pretty. Yes. Very nice. I like. Okay, uh. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the stayer. If that's even how you pronounce it. It's Austrian, isn't it, this, this thing? Yeah, pretty cool. Very space age. It does have a scope, but it's currently non-functional, apparently, until I get the mod for it. I guess that works. Um, cool. Yeah, this will do nicely. Very nice indeed. Okay. Could be better for close quarters as well, really, when you've got this kind of grip on it, right? I, w I would assume. Just, just looking at it. Um... Possibly not as accurate at long range, though, I don't know. Anyway, all I know is it looks cool, it makes bang-bang noises, and I'm going to put a scope on it very, very soon. Looks slightly goofy when it's on my back, but whatever. Uh, what else? Oh, I forgot to sell the hunting revolver. You... Ah! Welcome, sir or madam. You magically have 607 caps. Good. Because, uh... I've got a hunting revolver for you. And also now I'm going to have to buy something else, aren't I? Oh, for heaven's sake! Pfft, 44 rounds of some description. 
hollow point rounds, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. 308 hollow points. I guess I get some pulse slugs, and they're not exactly easy to manufacture, are they? So. This music you're pl that's playing right now reminds me of Gothic a lot for some reason. It reminds me of the music that plays when you're in the the old camp in Gothic. It's just seemed like it's like a modern military version of that for some reason. Anyone else getting that vibe? Or is, am I just going completely mad right now? God damn it. Uh huh? At this point, I'm almost buying this cult just because, I don't know, it's there. And I need to spend money. It's so expensive, otherwise I'd... yeah. Can I just get a regular fat man? Oh, that's still ten grand. Holy crap. Weapons of mass destruction do not come cheap, it would seem. Hum, 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 hum. Anti-material rifle suppressor. Interesting. Interesting. Laser focus optics. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I've already got some of those, but you might never know. I might, might maybe, maybe I don't. If not, I can just sell that to someone. But uh, I think I've got that. Laser scope. That's one thing for sure. I already did have some laser focus objects. What I need is a beam splitter, apparently. Uh, what do I? Hello. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. Interesting. It's something very long range with this on the maximum super duper death ray power could be interesting. A fun alternative to a sniper rifle. I like it. Old faithful. Do I have anything bad to eight? I don't. Well, I guess that's you, then. Ah, uh, look at that. Very old school. Beautiful. Lovely. For honourable service. <laughs> I didn't, definitely didn't get this for honourable service. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Nice. Lovely bit of kit. Kablam. All right. This also nice, but not as nice as that. It has to be said. All right. Well, anyway. Now what? Oh, right. Yes. Well, let's go then. Uh, up, up north. Up north. Up to. Uh... To bugs play a books place. Aye, that's where we're going. And then presumably we'll go look for uh, Bailey Bogan. Yep. All right. Oh, where's the closest we can get then? It'd probably be West Side, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. All right. Everyone, pile back in. Come on. Right. Okay. So, where are we going? Revan Girl, Crimson Caravan, Moor, West Side Pawn Shop, Red Rock Canyon, Sloan Canyon Wreckage. Yeah, West Side Pawn Shop it is. Could just be me, but it almost sounds like we really, really, really ought to take a look at the gearbox on this thing one of these days.
It does not sound healthy. Not even slightly. It seems to sort of... I don't know, it's somewhere between a burp and a fart every time I, we move the gears around. And again, that could also be the handbrake. I'm not really sure. Anyway, welcome to Wonderful West Side. Oh, it's you. I'm glad mean son of a bitch is on our side. You know, I've really got to say the resemblance is just uncanny. One of life's little mysteries, I suppose. We may never know the answer. Not that either of them could tell us what the answer was, even if they wanted to, mind you. 